groundbreaking, liberal media blames itself for Roy Moore's inevitable victory, it's perfect. The liberal establishment media is finally changing its tune. First, they hurled endless accusations of sexual misconduct against Alabama senatorial hopeful Roy Moore. They pumped out endless polls predicting a landslide defeat for Moore. Then, they defended their smears and ignored evidence coming against them. Now, they're conceding begrudgingly that Moore might possibly win the election. Politico is the major center-left outlet to recognize reality, which released a piece that's blaming the media in case Moore actually does win. How have we reached a point in this country when nearly half the voters of a U.S. state so mistrust, and even revile, major media outlets that they are willing to brush aside credible evidence and elect an accused sexual predator simply out of spite? How have we reached a point where a president of the United States can just declare fake news he doesn't like, and largely get away with it? Simple, because your evidence is fake. Beverly Nelson claims to have been sexually assaulted in a locked car by Moore in 1977, even though, as Rush Limbaugh observed, child locks in cars were not mandated for another three years. Moore's accusers have still failed to turn over the yearbook of the victim, which he allegedly signed, in for third-party analysis. And then there's this, the Moore campaign released a compilation of numerous key witnesses whose testimonies have completely debunked the claims of the his accuser. No, Politico, the voters are not choosing to elect an alleged sexual predator simply out of spite. They're electing him because they see you are wrong and that you are so arrogant, you will never be able to admit it. As for declaring fake news he doesn't like, take a look in the mirror, liberals and the establishment call anyone who's not far left of cinder a racist, sexist, classicist, or whatever, and leave it at that. Don't like our news? It's bigoted and fake. Don't like Donald Trump winning the election? It was a white lash, says CNN, even though 20% of Hispanics and half of former Obama voters elected him. The liberal Silicon Valley overlords in control of Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube censor conservatives constantly with the justification that they are fighting fake news or Russian bots. The same crooked news network that's blaming Russia for rigging the election on no evidence get real. You're the fake news, not US. But that's just fake news, you'd say, you'd say.